Hi there, we're going to talk to you about some of the options, some of the adjustments available on the 250 series combine feeder hose. We'll start up at the front with the tilting faceplate. So we mentioned in another video, the reason we tilt the faceplate is to match the header type to the combine. It is not for adjusting cutter bar angle. All of the different heads typically have a cylinder located on the head for adjusting that cutter bar angle. Tilting faceplate is to match the faceplate to the head of the combine. With that adjustment, there are eight big bolts on the mechanical adjustment style faceplate. So as you can see, we have five bolts up top. We have three down below with the pivot point located in the center. So with a pickup head, for example, when we loosen all the bolts, we want to tip the top all the way forward. That brings the bottom in. That brings the auger in that pickup head closer to the front drum on the combine. Draper head set in the middle like you see this one is set here. They all come from the factory set in the middle position. If you're swapping out to a corn head, you're going to want to tilt the top of that face plate all the way back. That brings the front or brings the bottom out further away from the front drum. Front drum height adjustments, so located right here, we have three adjustments and we can tell the position of the front drum based on the little hole or the little window located just below the bolt. If we can see directly through the hole, that means that the drum is in the full up position. If the hole is half covered, that means we're in the mid position. And if the hole is completely covered on the inside, that means it's in the lower position. If we need to make adjustments, I find you loosen the bolt. And the easiest way to do it is to put a pry bar on the front drum and lift up and turn your, turn your eccentric whichever direction you need to go up or down. Tighten the bolt and away you go. Feeder chain adjustment. So we've got a feeder chain adjustment or a tensioner located on each side. One on the right, one on the left. Spring loaded tensioner. We give you an indicator gauge on how tight we want that spring. You bring the spring down so that it's just up against the back side of the washer. If you try to over tighten this chain, you'll bottom out the spacer located in the middle of the spring and it'll draw the draw bolt through the center of the spacer, again, over tightening the chain. Tighten it down so the washer is just located on the back side of the indicator and that's all you need. The spring will take care of the rest. All right, so we're over on the left-hand side of the feeder hose, and we're gonna talk about a few different things on the 250 series combine. One of the new features is the gearbox. So a lot of changes inside the gearbox. We mentioned a spline coupler, which we'll show you in, in, uh, in a few seconds. The other thing is we got rid of the slip clutch in that top sprocket. So again, located inside of the, inside of the feeder gearbox, so a fiber disc style clutch. Another thing I wanna point out is we keep our operators in mind when we're designing our combines. We have the rock trap handle located on the side that the ladder is located. A lot of the competitive combines, you have to walk around to the other side in order to dump the rock trap. We want to keep your, your operators comfortable, so we put it on the left side, swing the handle open, dump the rock trap, close it again. Pretty simple operation that way. All right, talking about feeder house gearboxes, we have a couple of the old style on the stand here. And I just wanted to point out the internal components we've been talking about. So the new bolt-on couplers that I had mentioned for the new style look like this and this. So this end here bolts on the gearbox shaft. So it would bolt onto the shaft on that side. This one would bolt into the sprocket. And then they're also a crown spline. So a crown spline means that there's a bit of a curve on that spline. It's not a a perfectly straight spline and what that allows is for some gearbox misalignment as it's bolted to the combine and we won't get spline wear. In the past if the gearbox was misaligned we saw wear on these splines located right here. If we are pulling these gearboxes off of a previous model combine good idea to make sure that you're laser aligning those gearboxes when you reinstall. The other thing to take note is those new parts won't fit on an old style gearbox. So unfortunately, you have to have a 2019 or newer combine to have these new parts. 